Hold on to your seats, folks. Tonight, we're diving into the heart of an apocalyptic storm that has ripped through downtown Houston, leaving behind a trail of devastation. You won't want to miss our final thought on why this disaster is a critical wake-up call for us all. Stay tuned. On Thursday night, downtown Houston faced an unprecedented storm, described as a apocalyptic by many. The fast-moving system brought fierce winds, tornadoes, and significant destruction, stretching from central Texas to New Orleans in mere hours. Gusts exceeding 80 miles per hour downed trees, shattered windows, and toppled power lines, turning parts of downtown into a war zone. Houston Mayor John Whitmer confirmed seven fatalities, primarily due to fallen trees and a crane collapse. The city's infrastructure now faces weeks of repairs as residents cope with power outages and sweltering heat. The storm's intensity was reminiscent of past catastrophic weather events, with some experts comparing it to Hurricane Alicia in 1983. However, Thursday's storm had its unique ferocity. As noted by Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo, she warned that power outages might last for weeks, raising concerns about heat-related illnesses due to high temperatures and lack of air conditioning. Take a look. A tornado went through downtown Houston and blew out all those windows, all the brown spots that you see are all windows that are destroyed by the tornado. The storm complex included an EF-1 tornado near Cypress, 20 miles northwest of downtown Houston, with peak winds reaching 110 miles per hour. Downtown experienced non-tornadic wind gusts around 100 miles per hour, causing extensive damage. This event, possibly qualifying as a derrico, a severe long-lived windstorm, resulted in a widespread destruction. Preliminary reports confirmed severe wind gusts at over 100 locations. High-rise buildings in downtown Houston bore the brunt of the storm. Shattered glass littered the streets, evoking memories of previous hurricanes like Ike in 2008 and Alicia in 1983. Local author Christoph Spieler observed that the damage seemed concentrated in specific areas, suggesting a tornado might have swept through those blocks. His observations were echoed by many residents who faced similar scenes of destruction. Meteorologist Janice Maldonado from the National Weather Service highlighted the rarity of such an event outside of hurricane season. She emphasized that this storm's damage is the most significant Houston has faced since Hurricane Alicia. The storm's impact on the city's infrastructure was immense, with transmission towers folded, windows blown out, and countless trees uprooted. Victor Gensini, a meteorology professor of Northern Illinois University, described the storm as a generational wind event for Houston. He explained that such powerful storms are rare unless associated with hurricanes or tornado strikes. The microburst, as he termed it, hit the ground and spread out in all directions, amplifying the destruction. As residents begin to assess the damage, questions arise about the city's preparedness for such extreme weather. Matt Lanza, managing editor of Space City Weather, pointed out that the focus initially was on the potential for flooding rather than the severe winds. The oversight underscores the need for better preparedness and awareness, especially with hurricane season approaching. The storm also highlighted gaps in Houston's building codes. Steve Bowen, chief science officer at Gallagher Re, noted that text lags behind other states like Florida in terms of construction standards. Strengthening building codes could mitigate future damage from similar events, 
providing better protection for residents and infrastructure. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe by My Final Thought is Next. The storm is a reminder of how vulnerable our communities are to extreme weather. Houston's ordeal should prompt us all to take preparedness seriously and push for stronger building codes. As we face an increasingly unpredictable climate, the lessons from this disaster are clear. We must be proactive in protecting our cities and citizens. It's not just about recovery, it's about resilience and ensuring we're ready for the next storm. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.